G'day guys, welcome back to the first ever YBS month review. Pretty much I'm just gonna go over my last month. I'm gonna do December as well, cause there's so much to cover. For you guys that haven't been following us or just want another highlight video, I'm also gonna tell you a bit about Silky Sharks, a bit about the GoPro Max, and a few other bits and pieces that I haven't told you. Strider! That I haven't really discussed over the last few months. Hello, my name is Bobby. Started off December with a beach clean. I normally try and do a beach clean every couple of weeks. Ah. Watch out, Strider! <laughs> we don't need no miracle. I think we've seen it all. Just make the go. I'll go running over. We don't need no miracle. It's unconditional. Just make the go. And I'll be yours. Then I called a team meeting out in the islands and we've seen some turtles getting it on. Check it out. Her females at the front there, two males at the back. She's just trying to get away from her, man. She's had enough. There you go, sweetie. Those nasty males are gone for a little bit. We finally got some good weather, some blue water, and we punched out wide. We hopped in the deep blue, got ourselves a mahi for lunch, then we went fishing and got absolutely hounded by these sharks, which is what I want to tell you all about. They're silky sharks or grey whalers or some sort of oceanic whaler. Silky sharks or grey whalers, they're a pain in the butt, but they're absolutely so cool. I really love sharks, but these are the pests that hunt in packs and really scab your fish and that's just a part of their nature. They're really inquisitive and they will follow boats around, they'll follow divers around, they love fishermen and spear fishermen. You turn toward me and look so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie They have really, really good hearing, which means they can detect even the smallest little vibrations or low frequency from mostly like other fish feeding or fish that are um, dying or, you know, injured. And that's how they hunt. That's why they love us spearos or fishermen, because they they can detect that fish vibrating or the gun going off or whatever, and then they just come and they will scab and they will not leave you alone. Plus, they're really smart, so they they know the habit of us. So when they hear a boat coming, why would they bother hunting when they know they're gonna get a free feed? So that is the pain in the butt with these guys. You can sort of tell these whalers by a smallish dorsal fin and it's curved, and then a tiny little back dorsal. Big aeroplane pectoral fins. Because they are such a common shark and they are hunted regularly, their numbers are on the drop. They are super slow growing, but they are 
Whoa, look at all the shells. <laughs> They're super, super slow, slow. They're a super slow growing shark, like most sharks. Grow to about 2.5 meters in length, but I swear we have seen them upwards of three meters out there. There's some big, badass units getting around. I ate a sea urchin. That was pretty cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go for a swim, see if we can find a couple of big, juicy, nice ones. And I'm gonna eat it. Trying to step on an urchin. <laughs> See that yellow there? That is a sea urchin gonad. One up a teeth, baby. Went camping with Jacko. We got a big mud crab. Okay. Oh, so do I. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Super solid. <laughs> That's his yeah, nipper. Look at that. Well, yeah, we've got small hands. What we'll do? I got monster <laughs> hands. Look at that. Oh, we released our wetsuits. That was such a big goal to tick off. Um, and they are selling so well. Thank you guys so much. If you want to get one, youngbuds.co, go and check them out. They're selling really quick, which is really humbling. Thank you so much, guys. Youngbuds.co, get online right now. Check them out. It's been a long time coming. I'm so happy. Woo, we did it, baby. <laughs> Shot of Wahoo in the deep blue. So I hung out with my friend Brinkley. We went across the islands and we filmed an episode on the GoPro Max, which is a brand new GoPro from the guys at GoPro. I love this thing. I'm gonna go over to the mangoes here and I'll tell you all about it. Guys, this is GoPro Max. I'll just give you guys like a real basic review about this little fella here. Just sort of how, what I like about it and all that sort of stuff. It's just a 360 camera. And all you have to do is put it on a pole, make sure the pole is directly lined with it so you don't get any weird, like it cuts off your hand if it's not. Ah, oh, horse fly. Yeah, so a pole like that and you just literally hold it out like that. And it feels like you're filming nothing but these two cameras here actually film pretty much the 180 degrees like that, 180 degrees like that. Probably the best part about this is that this GoPro here stitches the footage together. So these two cameras, it stitches it together. And then when you open the GoPro app on your phone or on your computer at home. So I'll play a clip right now of me scurfing with the GoPro Max. It's actually a sick clip. But what happened is I accidentally deleted the footage and I only exported it for Instagram. So there also will be me awkwardly moshing to Parkway Drive. What a beautiful summer's day, baby. Hey, Strider. Good to go, Jacko. The deepest circle of hell is reserved for betrayers and mutineers. Demonetized, it's all good because I reckon the boys at Parkway Drive deserve my support and they'll get all my money, <laughs> which is all good. 
I'll just open up GoPro app right now on my phone. Open, 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 open. And go to here and I'll just look at this one. Open her up. See what I mean? Check this out. What is this ad? That's horrible. Check that out. And then like you press play. You can zoom in and all this sort of cool stuff. Whoa, it gets trippy quick. But if I wanted to put a marker and start the video, I put it in like that. Get it to where I want. Like that. Press play. And if I want to correct it or move it around like that, I just put another one of those little things in, get it to the spot I want. Click that. And then you can stitch together. Ease both. That's what you want to pick. And it's just Wi-Fi from GoPro straight to phone. It is so easy. I stitch these things when I'm out in the boat or when I'm bored or all sorts. It's, it is honestly so sick and it's addictive. It's like a video game, man. That's why I really like it. If you're tossing up between a Max and a GoPro 8, go the GoPro 8. But if you do want both and you want it and you're really into it like me, this is actually the sickest fun. And I really love having this option. To, um, to use and that's like my honest review, you know. I celebrated my birthday with my best friends, went out spear fishing with the boys, put Christmas lights all over my boat and celebrated Christmas with my family. New secret sauce shirts online now, youngwest.co, go check it out. Woo! This is the future. <laughs> Evolution. This is the future. Leave a comment below and see if you guys can guess how old I turned. <laughs> I bet you can't get it. We did some science with Jared, baby. <laughs> Science with yeah. Jared. Science with Jared. Jared, it's time for science with Jared. I swam nude at the beach. I did a survival video, cleaned up 150 kilos of rubbish with my friend Bo. So these are the fish eggs, and I'm gonna have a little nibble on this. Oh. No, they were really bad. Here's our hole. We just thought we'd show you guys what we actually found today before we put it in the, in the back of the truck and take it down to the tip and dispose of it properly. It was actually quite a heartbreaking month for Australia. As a lot of you guys know, Australia's on fire and it is still on fire right now. Plus there's flooding, there's dust storms, and it's just, Australia's lost the plot at the moment. As most of you know, Australia is on fire at the moment. Everything's burning. 12 million acres of land has been lost. 500 million animals lost. People have died, people's houses are gone. There's so much bad stuff happening at the moment. I'm guessing there's a lot of you guys out there like me that's removed from the smoke, the fear, the fire, the tears, but there is something we can do. We can raise awareness and we can raise money and we can give it to those people that are on the front line, that are fighting the fires, that have lost family, lost homes, caring for animals. We can give back to them, guys. The most important thing at the moment is that we all come together and we help out. I've listed a few organizations and charities below that I've donated a thousand dollars to. I know it's not much, but any little bit helps and I'm hoping that you guys and the community to get on board and we can make that little bit difference and make something just a little bit easier. <sighs> Jacko, the dad bod, hooked on to the biggest cod ever and you guys named it in the comments, the dad bod cod. It was a new species. It's not official that it's called that, but how funny would it be if you open up a fish book and there's the dad bod cod sitting there. What the hell? Oh my oh, God! What is that thing? We're not going to waste a damn thing of this. 
If we can't eat ourselves, we've got friends, family, people in town, we'll get the word out there, everyone will get a fillet. I vlogged the whole day with the boys out spearfishing wide from start to finish. I hope you guys liked that. It was like a 50 minute long video. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys want more of that style and I'll definitely put some more effort into doing a few more videos that long. That pretty much brings me to right now. A few days ago, I hung out with my friend Charlie. She came up and visited. We've seen some tiger sharks. I think it's gonna let us. We're just cruising along. We've come across this beautiful tiger shark. Some baby turtles. Oh my God. Wow. And it was a really good time. Um, thank you guys so much for the last couple of months, all the support. And here's to the next couple of months. It's gonna be crazy. I wanna do a little bit more traveling. I've landed on my feet this year and I have every opportunity to start sending it around the world. I really wanna swim with a great white shark. That's like my goal this year. Or just like, I don't know if you're actually allowed to, but if I can get into a cage or see one up close or something like that, that'd be pretty crazy, right? And I'll see you guys in a couple of days. You. <laughs>